Hey, how's it going all you most amazing people? I'm Landon Dallitzing and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. So we've all heard the saying, you know, coming back from the dead, right? Well, there has been people throughout time who have actually chosen to freeze themselves for many different reasons. Some might have diseases that can't be cured, or they just simply want to live in the future to see what it's like, so they freeze their body at the present time to be alive for the future. A lot of these people freeze themselves thinking that technology will be able to bring them back in the future, and also technology can cure them from their diseases. So you know what, it, it could be plausible for people to actually come back from the dead. So let's take a look at this list. This is the top 10 scary preserved bodies that will come back to life. Starting us off, at number 10, we have 10. Ted Williams. He was an American professional baseball player and a manager. He played 19 years in the MLB as a left fielder for the Boston Red Sox from 1939 to 1960. He became famous for this and he became a household name. He is regarded as one of the greatest players in baseball history, which is so crazy we have him on our list. Well, in his will, when he died, he stated that he wanted to be cremated and his ashes scattered in Florida Keys. But Ted Williams' son and daughter didn't fulfill his wish. Instead, they chose to cryogenic preserve his body because they believe in science and the future of technology. They believe that one day their father can come back to life and then when they also die they want to be preserved professionally as well so one day they can all live together in the future. Okay so we sort of talked about him at number nine but let's talk about John Henry Williams. This is Ted Williams son. He also played baseball like his father. He was inspired but he only played a few games. He was a rookie at the age of 33 years old. There's a few strings pulled for him and that's how he was able to play in the major leagues. Well in his rookie year he actually broke two ribs while trying to catch a foul ball well in 2003 at the age of 35 years old he was diagnosed with an acute myelogenous leukemia the same disease that killed his uncle he began chemotherapy and underwent a bone marrow transplant but it didn't work he passed away and there was no funeral for him because he was transported to Elcor as well to be preserved number eight we have Dick Clare yes the famous Dick Clare we may not be too familiar with him, but her parents or grandparents for sure knows who he is. He was an American television producer, actor, and many more things. He worked on the Ed Sullivan Show. Well, he died at the age of 57 years old because he had multiple aid-related infections. He was cryopreserved at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation. Many people are actually frozen in time there. Dick Clare was an early member of the Chronic Society in California in the 60s. He donated a lot of money for research into this type of science. The science of bringing people back to life. So this may not be the end for Dick Claire. Imagine waking up though and you're younger than like your great great grandchildren. Number seven, we now have someone who has done a lot of work with this type of science. Well this right here is Thomas K. Donaldson. He was a mathematician. He was well known as a cryonics advocate. He was a big believer that this is possible. He has many credentials which is why it's hard to kind of believe in this, you know, that it could be plausible. But then again, really smart people could be crazy, so who knows? Do you guys think it's possible to bring people back to the future? To bring people back to life? Thomas K. Donaldson, he's founded both of the Cryonics Association of Australia and the Institute for Neurocryobiology. Both these associations have groundbreaking research and cryopreservation, and this is of brain tissue. They feel like this technology is soon approaching. Living forever is just around the corner, it seems like somewhere. Moving into number six, just to show you guys how popular this cryopreservation is, let's just talk about Seth MacFarlane for a sec. I know he's still alive today, but he's actually preparing to have his body cryologically frozen. He wants Family Guy to be around forever, so he needs to freeze himself. Other famous people who want to be frozen in time is uh, Larry King, Simon Cowell, Paris Hilton, and that's just to name a few people. So a lot of people out there actually believe in this technology. Maybe I should make a top 10 video of like top 10 celebrities who want to be frozen in time. Alright, number five, let's get back into dead people, because that's what you guys want, right? <laughs> okay, let's talk about Dora Kent. She's actually our first female on this list, and there was actually a huge legal controversy over her story. Apparently, she might have been murdered in order to be cryopreserved. The more people who are preserved, the more tests doctors and scientists can do. Dora passed away in 1987. At the time, this was Elkhorn Life Extension Foundation's eighth patient to be preserved. Also, at the time, she was the oldest person at the age of 84 years old. Some investigators believe that she she wasn't even dead when she was frozen in time. Maybe the foundation wanted to find out if they can restore someone who isn't even dead yet, but we just like freeze them. We just blast freeze them in time. Maybe we can defrost them later. Number four, we have this 14 year old girl who died of 
cancer. Well, there was a letter written by this girl that said, I don't want to die, but I know I'm going to. I want to live longer. I want to have this chance. This was her will. This 14 year old girl heard about being cryogenically frozen and she wanted to take the chance so that maybe one day, maybe in like hundreds of years from now, she's going to be able to wake up. Well, one of her parents actually don't want her to do this. They got into an argument, so this case was brought into court. Well, the judge ruled in her mom's favor, who was in support of the 14-year-old, who wanted to be cryogenically preserved. The father didn't want this, but this was her will. The judge ruled in the favor. The judge said the little girl should be the only one allowed to make decisions about the disposal of her own body. So she was frozen in time. Number three, this right here is 23-year-old Kim Suwazi. She has placed her faith in science and decided to freeze herself. Well, not her doctor. She, she paid doctors to do it. Kim suffered from an incurable brain cancer. Kim wants to be frozen until there's a cure for the type of brain cancer that she has, which is an aggressive form of glioblastoma multiforme. Before she died, she was placed in a hospice in Arizona so she can be near the cryopreservation center. Kim was able to raise $70,000 that she needed to pay for her body being frozen by asking people on Reddit. Well, she did it. She fulfilled it. She was able to get what she needed and now now she is being preserved. She told her mom what she is doing and she said, well, what else am I going to do? Rot in the ground? It might be a bit odd to just know that your daughter is in some sort of museum type setting, just frozen in time. She's sort of alive and now people are looking at her on display. All right, number two, I have to clear this up. Let's talk about the world's famous Walt Disney. Oh my God, is he frozen in time? Right now, there's an urban legend saying that Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen after he died in 1966 and he might be brought back to life. Well, well, Walt Disney died of lung cancer at the age of 65 years old, but his dreams is still much alive through us all. He has changed the world. There was an article back in the 70s saying Walt Disney wanted to be frozen, but despite the claims, Walt Disney won't be coming back to life anytime soon. It's sad, I know. And that's because his family decided to cremate his body two days after he passed away. But who knows, maybe that's a cover up story and maybe Walt Disney is frozen in time. Finally, number one, let's talk about the man of the hour, the guy who started it all. We're talking about James Bedford. Well, I should say Professor James Bedford. He was the first person who was cryopreserved. His body was frozen in time, and you can see his body at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, which is located in Arizona. Professor James wrote a ton of books explaining what cryopreserved was, and he explained that it's a way to freeze your body in time, usually by liquid nitrogen, until there's technology smart enough to unfreeze him, unfreeze other people as well, and bring him back to life. I'm not sure what the future has. Has, but if we can figure this out, we can become immortal. Well, if you have enough money to do it, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be expensive. Like, I don't know, a million dollars to becoming immortal? I don't know. Would you guys ever want to come back to life 100, you know, maybe 200 years from now? The world would just be so different. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs>